Where have all the stars gone? They left Ohio long ago. It's been a blanket of clouds for weeks on end. Oh my. <laughs> it's been horrible up here in Ohio. My goodness. I do believe it's the longest stretch I've had, about three weeks now, of no sky to see, no sun, no stars, planets, moons, or anything. And even this morning, all day long, I didn't think we'd have a clearing, but here we go. On this Thursday, December 5th, 2019, at 4.51 p.m., and the sun's about to set in about, oh, four minutes or so. It's still quite blue out, though. And we have a 65% moon over in the southeast sky. And at the moment, we are on the Nikon P1000. Recording onto the Atomos Ninja Flame recorder, monitor recorder. That's a cool shot. That's pretty close to the size that I see it by eye. Boy, it sure is good to see something up there. It's been quite depressing to tell you the truth. Now that's a sight I haven't seen in, oh my gosh, at least a month. Let's check out these craters down here. <laughs> now they are coming in a bit watery, but that's to be expected with all the moisture we have in our atmosphere. It did snow this morning, just a little bit though. Maybe an inch or two, but most of it's uh, already melted away. But it looks like it's phasing in and out there. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a stroll around the moon. It's a shame that it's uh, not coming in a bit better, especially after being shut out for such a long period of time. I've missed everybody. I didn't even get a chance to say uh, have a happy Thanksgiving and a safe holiday. And the way things are going, I don't know if I'll be able to catch much else over here. Ah, my favorite area. It's what I call my light beam area. Up in front of that mesa there. Boy, I would think that would come in much better. Because the sky does look so blue, but of course you can't see the high altitude clouds and all that. Oh, I've missed this area down here. <laughs> it is so incredible to see. those different shapes, a lot of hexagons and ovals and skid marks. You can't really see the skid marks, not with the phase it's in, but
Ooh, that was cool. There's a flock of uh, geese. That was neat. There we go. So we can get our bearings, see the trees, our bear trees. And there we go, we finally have some documentation. <laughs> First one for December. And I hope there's more to come, but the forecast is not looking good. So if I don't see you before the Christmas holidays, which I really hope to, so I'm gonna wish you all a wonderful one, safe and an enjoyable holiday ahead. I would have never thought it would take so long for our skies to clear up. And it is just going to be a brief one. There's snow in the forecast. Even rain too, I think. It's quite nippy, about 35 degrees. And so we have lost the planets of Saturn and Jupiter the year and hopefully in time we'll be able to get Venus once it gets above the trees for me I know other people have been getting shots of it and Mars also and Orion and nebulas and stars and everything else but so here's hoping for better weather and Everything's going all right in your world. And if I didn't say it, well, hello there. <laughs> I have missed everybody. Alrighty, so y'all take care on this uh, Thursday night. Waving good night from Ohio. Bye now. It's uh, 5.02 p.m. Good night now. Ooh, that was cool. There's a flock of uh, geese. That was neat.